Hey guys, so for my Sunday school group, we are doing a COVID-19 four-week Sunday school series. We did the first one this morning called Darkness, and I thought it would be really neat to share it with all of you guys. But before we get started, I want to give a shout out to my youth students. Hey guys, you guys are awesome. I love you guys. Um, but yeah, so I thought it'd be neat to share what we've been doing with you guys. So let's get started. So here pretty soon, I'm going to show you guys uh, Jonah in a fish's belly. But before we do that, let me give you some background information of what's going on to Jonah right now. So Jonah has been asked by God to go to Nineveh to preach to these people. But instead of going, he's like, nah, God, I am not going to do that. Those people are awful. So he left and God chased after him and ended up putting him in a fish's belly. So here is Jonah in the fish's belly. Lord, Lord, it's 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 dark in this fish. It's gooey, it's slimy. I don't I don't know what that liquid is over there. It's dark and it's cold. I called out to you, Lord out of my distress and and you did answer me out of the belly of Shaw I, I cried and you and you heard my voice for you cast me into the deep in my heart of the seas into the heart of the seas and the flood it surrounded me all of your waves and your billows passed over me. And then I said, I am driven away from your sight. Yet I shall again look upon your holy temple. The waters, they closed in over me to take my life. And the deep surrounded me. Weeds were wrapped around my head, Lord God. It's dark in this fish in the sea it's dark lord not gonna lie that looks and sounds awful like weird liquid what kind of weird liquid is that is it smelly it just seems gross and it seems dark like super dark i don't know about you but i'm slightly scared of the dark not gonna lie oh and he's all by himself that's awful just crazy awful wait a minute are you guys all by yourselves too or feel like you're all by yourself because of COVID-19 so COVID-19 has caused you all to be homebodies kind of trapped inside your home in a way has your house began to feel like being trapped inside the fish's belly like Jonah was? Is this your own fish story? Jonah felt like there was going to be no way out. He felt like this would never end, that he was just going to be trapped and stuck and alone. Do you guys feel the same way right now? Stuck, trapped, alone waiting until the world gets better wondering when it will happen i want to read jonah 2 1 through 9 for you guys here it says then jonah prayed to the lord his god from the belly of the fish saying i called out to the lord out of my distress and he answered me out of the shawl i cried and you heard my voice, for you cast me into the deep, into the heart of the seas, and the flood surrounded me. 
all of your waves and your billows passed over me. Then I said, I am driven away from your sight. Yet I shall again look upon your holy temple. The waters closed in over me to take my life. The deep surrounded me. The weeds were wrapped around my head and the roots of the mountains. I went down to the land where the bars closed upon me forever. Yet you brought my up my life from the pit, O Lord my God. When my life was fainting away, I remembered the Lord and my prayer came to you into your holy temple. Those who pay regard to the vain idols forsake their hope of steadfast love, but I, with the voice of thanksgiving, will sacrifice to you. What I have vowed I will pay, salvation belongs to the Lord. Even though Jonah is in this awful situation, he's still thanking God and praising God and talking to God. And I wonder if Jonah could do it, why can't we? Even though this situation may not be like anything else we've ever been a part of, maybe it sucks for you, but you're still able to thank God for the little things and you're still able to praise him and you're still able to be around him because God is not going anywhere. He is the same then and he's the same now. And he is good. During this time when he had Jonah in the whale, he was doing something. Jonah didn't know what it was, but he was doing something. The same here. We may not know what he's working on, but he has a project that he is building, that he is piecing together. And he'll make something good come out of this. Eventually, this virus will be over. I mean, Jonah did not stay in his, his fish forever. We will not have to stay in our house forever. In God's time, even though it might be a long time because you gotta be patient for that dude. He kind of has his own schedule, you know? But eventually we will be able to leave our houses I'm going to read verse 10 of chapter 2 in Jonah. And the Lord spoke to the fish and it vomited Jonah out upon the dry land. Jonah waited for God and he prayed to God. He praised him. He thanked him. He talked to him. And eventually he got to leave the fish. Eventually we will be able to leave our houses. But in this meantime, praise him, talk to him, thank him, spend time with him. And most importantly, trust him.